Okay, this is tutorial how to make your OBD wires, harness and shit like this and to make it work on your favorite MS43. Okay, let's begin. So here I have a uh, first thing you have to buy on eBay. This is like two bucks. That's a female OBD has a uh, 16 wires on it. Each wire has to correspond to one of those pinouts you can find the link online you just type uh, OBD wiring diagram and you sh something should come out like this and all you need is battery power chassis ground for negative and the K-line uh, K-line is number seven as you can see the K-line is essential for us also, don't forget, you have to also provide the power to this thing. This also requires a 12 volt and a negative. Besides, that ECU requires also the same thing. Okay, you need a, this is a pin seven. It needs a 12 volt positive and the pin four is negative. And this little plug right here, right here, there is a pin 32 for K line and pin 26 for oh, ignition power thing and you also you have to run it 20 I mean 20 12 volt uh, to it so here's my harness is my female that's my power supply to the ECU the main power supply which is requires pin 7 pin 4 as I said before and this is the wire harness plug I just took the whole thing I didn't chop the wires off of it because I don't know in future maybe it'll come use, uh, useful so you need, you need this plug right here and this plug right here these two plugs are I think they're the same ones but anyway I chopped it off my engine harness and it works so now you got this thing you have to figure out which pins corresponds to which wire colors and as you can see there you can see like wire colors because it goes on the angle like this and hard to figure out which wire color is for which pin and luckily this plug is, you can easily take it apart you can see this tab right here I, I know my camera is shit because this is my phone you just have to lift it up lift this side up and then the black side will slide out. You basically need just the black side because I don't think you need a gray one. But I'm gonna take it out two of them because I have a zip tie around all the wires. So give me a sec. Here we go. I got them off. They just simply slide out. That's it. Now we can see the wires. Yeah. So, pin 32. This is pin 31, 32. The second one. Second one is your, is our K line. So, as you can see, it's a white wire with the purple stripe on it. So, this is your K line. This goes to st straight to your OBD wire right here. Uh, it's wire number seven. I don't know which color this is. I would have to check. I have the diagram somewhere on it. But you can ask your eBay seller for the wire diagram because I'm pretty sure I had a different one and the wires were completely different colors. So I had to figure it out by myself by just plugging the LED. Uh, one I ha I plugged the LED uh, positive to the battery and uh, ne uh, negative. I put pin inside here and I check, uh, checked it right here I plugged it to the LED and it worked and I was like yeah works so this is our K line wire right here one more time it's a white with the purple stripe yeah it, ha it has a purple stripe on two sides it's not a full white wire as you can see and now we need our pin 26 which is positive you can see it right here. I don't think I don't think you're gonna be able to spot it. So you count it from my thumb. You count it as six, and you see that purple wire, but it's not purple. It's 
green and purple so it's see like on two sides also two sides are green and two sides are purple that's our uh, pin 26 that requires 12 volts so we got these two wires coming from this harness yes this harness easily easy to figure out because this is big and nice so I don't think you should have trouble with that so once we figure out our wires what you do is you take positive from here and a the 26 pin from here so it's pin 7 and pin 26 from these wires and you splice them together over here then you run it to OBD OBD uh, pin 16 I think which is this one here this is our positive and then from all this so we got these two wires coming to one wire in here and then they go straight over here and they go to pin 16 and go out to your battery power or your computer supply like I have so we got this now we have to run negative so negative we take negative from here we run it all the way up here it goes back to the OBD it's a pin 4 on top that's your negative so you splice it over here goes out right here this is negative and don't forget to put extension because you have to ground the wire I mean the wire you have to ground the pin 104 on the ECU so I have like an alligator clip and I found this pin somewhere so I'm using that so I made an extension with the alligator clip that's how it works and the K line just why wire you just run into your K line K line is number seven out on a OBD female or male whatever so that's it that's your harness so how is it gonna work you plug it in plug the OBD and stuff and then you plug this to a power supply and you have to open up the ECU box take the four, four screws out mine is Torx easy to do like anybody can do it you ground the pin 104 hold it then you turn the power supply on you wait for six seconds you remove this pin of the yeah the alligator clip like i have or pin away and you click connect in the jungle flusher once you did that it will read your ecu flash and that's how you can write or read whatever on the GM uh, jungle flasher but on Galero you don't have to do this you just basically plug it in and then you can do it right away you can simply do it so I did it just now I'm not gonna connect everything back but I'll just show you so Galero is gonna provide you 64 kilobit file so I have it right here for 3 liter engine I, I have it ready if you want you can just ask me because you you won't have to go to tuner pro and you have you, you have to change some things like I changed I raised the rev limiter I took the speed limit out what, what else I took the the OBD readiness check you know if you have uh, headers you need that and uh, 512 kilobits it's for junk and flasher so this is also 512 kilobit that's already got everything off well that's how I named it I don't know what, what you're gonna name it and that's it that, that's my harness oh also don't get me wrong uh, I have also a laptop so I can do it in the car and now I have a brilliant idea I can put a extend these wires put a 12 volt socket on it for the car the car socket and I can do it in the car without using the ignition and stuff that's much better I guess because I don't think you want to do it in the car like they have it on, on the instructions you have to open up the ECU then you have to plug it in the car and you might be able to I mean hopefully you're not gonna short it out but if you short it out you might burn out the chips or something on it so good luck making your first oh by the way here you go on uh, eBay 
you just basically type uh, obg2 female not male male is your k-line wire I ha this is a uh, I don't know what this is I have like two of them and so the blue one works perfect you will just have to assign it to a galero it's also explains in the instructions if you find it it's all out there it's all online should be having no problems with that so you go on eBay you type obg to female and there's two different options it's whatever you prefer to there's either this one I ordered both of them I ordered this one and this one that's the one I showed you and this one still didn't come yet but I, th I think this would make a, a the harness much cleaner because you could put uh, much bigger wires thicker wires than this little thin wires because I had them broke on me once the K line I think the K line on here is purple so I had it broke one so I had to take this isolation off and chop all the wires and do it all over again and here if you buy this thing I think you're better off investing in this thing because you can put a thicker wire much safer so do that don't buy this this is not safe the wires break buy this this is good stuff but it takes like mad long this came like in two days and this came like this still didn't come yet so good luck making your obd harness thing and good luck with flashing bye